Afternoon? It's yeah. kind of afternoon. It's, it's kind of evening. The sun is still out and we got an, an hour, one hour of sunlight, sunlight left in the day. And Epcot looks like it's, it's the like weekend. Kind of like yesterday with me. It's it really is. It's, it's got so much life for June. Like we had already had enough energy in us to begin with on a regular basis. Now with the sun being out later, get ready, everybody. Yeah. But we're in cold pool. Um, we're doing some flower and garden. Sarah's cousin Emily's here. Yay! Secretly, she's my wife. I can't wait to see her. She's in line for frozen, frozen right now. Yeah, so she's been here all day. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a couple of things to eat from Flower and Garden, and then we'll meet up with her. Yeah, oh, and thank you. We have a, we got a wonderful oh, get well yeah. card to oh, Sarah goodness. from John and Leanne. And yes, your family. Thank you Love so the much. pictures. Cute dog, cute family. Oh my so gosh. That means a lot Such to us. A we really appreciate it. Thank you. Totally so not expected though. Yes, and I'm feeling much better. Oh my god, we're here and the sun's out. So the butterfly house is still open. Yay. We've only been in here once and it was Guys, super crowded. About me, I'm allergic to caterpillars. Oh my I'm god. Not even joking. You're not, and I, we've never talked about how like is it lethal for you to be in the garden the butterfly house? It's just like I get a rash if they crawl on me. <laughs> My... <laughs> so note don't, to self, don't, don't. Don't ask how I found that out. <laughs> It's a little bit pricier than most. It's the chutney. And it comes with plantain chips, so maybe it'll be filling. It smells like my first job and it's freaking me out. <laughs> I worked at an Italian beef and Chicago hot dog place on the south side of Chicago. All right. Spicy hot dog. I want to scooch up a little bit of this. Some pineapple chutney. Oh, Sarah, you said all that, but it looks good. I wish it was on a fancier bun, but it looks pretty good and it was warm. Sweet and spicy. Ooh, I gotta set up my phone to charge on this fuel rod. Sweet and spicy. Is the dog spiced at all? Or is it just spicy because the the I mustard? What? Is it delicious either really way? Really delicious. Yeah. I was worried it was gonna be cold because we like walk around a little bit, but it's good. Good. Okay, I just ate my half, and I feel like Sarah did not give that enough enough accolades. Like that was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. And I'll describe it like this. It was the per if you like spice because it's. A little spicy, but like I know some people are up there, like a little bit sensitive. They're like they can't have mustard. If you are sensitive, though, even a little spice, don't get it because the little kick. Yeah. But if you don't care about that, um, it's the perfect like entry level exotic food. Like it's a hot dog, so it's normal. It's got some crunch on it, but there's chutney on it, so it's like out there. You know, some people don't like to try exotic or different food. Um, it's like the perfect segue to like ease into trying. Different kinds of food. And I keep spitting, so I'm sorry. And I sorry really for that. like the um, the hot dog itself. It was like more like a red hot like dog than the like typical like Casey's ballpark dog, which I that's the hot dog I prefer. I think we're gonna stay in the uh, showcase plaza and check out that La Isle Fres Fresco behind us. Alrighty. This here is really good. We don't even know yet. It's a it's passion fruit. passion passion fruit layered cake with coconut mousse passion fruit sauce, and pineapple chunks. I feel like we're ignoring our cousin Emily. She's just in line for the frozen <laughs> ride. So it's like, she's in line for who knows how many hours. So we're gonna eat some food while we wait for her. Good choice? Yeah, super good choice. It's uh, very light and it feels refreshing because like the, the, it's very citrusy. Mm. Like almost like, okay. We gotta go find Emily. She got off the ride. We, we're gonna get like 16 more things to eat, but we gotta go find Emily. All right, so that was a little blast through time. We didn't even stay for illuminations, but we met up with our cousin Emily and their friends. Yeah. They're staying they off their property. Moms, yeah. But they're just classic. It was great. Yeah, it was great talking to them. One of, their fr one of Emily's friends was the cast member two se semesters ago at Space Mountain Attractions. Um, but we were just catching up, talking around them. They got some food. We didn't get any more food because um, we wanted flower and garden. But now I'm kind of feeling ample hills, but I don't think we're gonna. Here she comes. 
beer too soon. But the issue is so we're at Boardwalk because they're like, they're staying off property so they got an Uber. And Sarah's like, you could get an Uber quicker and probably cheaper at the Boardwalk if we just walk, because we're by UK, over to the Boardwalk. So for anybody staying off property, think of that when you're at a park closed like Epcot or Studios to yeah. walk somewhere like the Boardwalk Beach or Yacht Club and get your Uber or taxi there rather than the park. Because it's crazy, long lines, hecticness, crowds. But now I realize that we're gonna have to talk to the cast members to get through because Epcot's closed, but it's got extra magic, but we're not staying at a property, but we have to get to the, our car in the parking lot. Longest clip ever. <laughs> Two big updates. One, we got in the park. Yay, we did convince the nice. cast member. Actually, I was just like, hey. She was like, are you staying? I was like, no, we just have to get to the parking lot. Our car's there. We're just gonna go straight through. And she's Ask like, Ask and you shall receive. She's like, okay, sure, just go on in. And then our friend Jordan, is she, did she say yes? Yeah, she's on the mountain right now. Our friend Jordan is here, she's leaving tomorrow. She was here for a quick three days. Yeah. We weren't able to see her, but she's coming for extra magic hours at Epcot. So we're gonna just wait a little bit, a little white light of that cast member. We'll slowly walk the to the front, front yeah. and wait for her to say hi. Well. We got the poutine. Sarah's <laughs> worried about being hungry. We met up with our friend Jordan. Jordan, back she's in Disney. back. I feel like she thinks it's super weird because like she's come to Disney multiple times but we're always here. So I feel like to her we may just look like a piece of the park. <laughs> I didn't get to say yeah. that before Jordan got here. That's what, I, that's what I feel like. But well, we got uh -huh. the poutine. Yes, yeah. let's find a trash can. Just got off the phone with my mom. We're about to watch the newest Fantastic Beasts trailer. If you're a Harry Potter fan, let us know down below. Let us know down below. Peter's on the floor with Eve. Also, look at the trailer and tell us what you think about it. And while you're at it, go follow Swish and Flick and all Potter podcasts from our friends Megan and Katie. They have a YouTube and they have a podcast. And if you like Harry Potter, they're the best people to listen to because there's four of them. They represent the four houses. And it's just like, I have to pause it from laughing so hard. You guys have to listen to it. All right, we are home. Sarah's actually asleep on the couch. And I'm hoping I can get through this without waking her up because it'll be more difficult if she's standing next to me before I sign off. But. We had a great night hanging out with Emily, had an amazing time hanging out with Jordan, thank you so much, but when we got home, we heard the unfortunate news about Stephen Hawking passing away, and if you are watching us and you don't know about Stephen Hawking, just take a little time and just Google him and, and read some of the things he's done. He was a great uh, physicist and an amazing scientist, and um, we may have mentioned in the past that both Sarah and I growing up were extremely shy. Sarah couldn't even talk to her own family members at family parties. She would whisper into her mom's ear and Sarah's mom would say what Sarah was saying. I was extremely shy as well. I didn't go out often, I didn't do any extracurriculars. I was extremely shy. Strange now we both have YouTube video vlogs and social media accounts and meet strangers in the theme parks and online and we've grown a lot. And Sarah grew up going to Disney in reference and I never grew up going to Disney but you may not know this, but my college degree is actually in mathematical computer science, and I really took pride in that, technically being a scientist, and now that I actually use what I did in school as an everyday job, I don't oftentimes think of it this way, but I'm a computer scientist, and one of the things growing up that was such an inspiration was Stephen Hawking and many of those other great scientists. So it's very sad, but you know, I watched many of the interviews when I was a child being a little geeky kid watching Discovery Channel and Science Channel growing up um, and I just remember one thing him saying um, that he wasn't going to stop because he, he lived like more than 50 years after he was diagnosed with his disease um, when they told him he would just live maybe two or so years and he said he's not going to stop until he would understand how the universe works. So. He did amazing work, and I know he now understands how the universe works. But I want to share with you um, two quotes. One that I already have heard before, read before, but one I read tonight looking at Twitter and everything. And one of his quotes was saying, "How difficult, however difficult life may seem, 
there's always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. That resonates a lot with what Sarah and I say often, but the other quote I'd say probably resonates even more. And then I gotta go to bed, but we will see if I'll be able to sleep some because I just keep checking what people are saying and everything. But the other quote is, it would not be much of a universe if it wasn't home to the people you love. So that is super awesome, such a great quote. And put perspective in it, like yes, he was a scientist and p people can have their thoughts or anything on beliefs or anything like that, but he, he was a great man and quotes like that. And for me, as no matter what else he did in the world, he taught me to dream. I didn't grow up going to Disney. Sarah brought me to Disney World for my first time. I grew up watching movies, but nothing too crazy. Um, so before Walt, before YouTube, before those kinds of passions, I was a little boy thinking that I could be a scientist one day. And it was because of scientists like Stephen Hawking that I grew up and got my computer science degree and never forgot those things. I was in college and this is not even had to do with my college degree, but I even went and took four different, I went to, I got to the 400 level of physics in college knowing that I, they don't really pertain to my college degree, but just because it interests me and because of learning and reading and listening about Stephen Hawking and many other scientists like him, um, the whole time I was in those classes, I liked how my 400 level class had a chalkboard and not a dry erase board like my 1, 2, and 300 level just because I felt more like those great scientists and phys physicists. So our hearts are going out to the Hawking's family and uh, we thank you, Stephen, for everything you've done and for Sarah and I and Eve because she was going crazy early. I was running around chasing her. Um, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.